The story so far, Inspector Hastings bursts into the lane direct energy just as Kachikawa is green to take on the curious case of a talking dog. The helm will have to put on hold. The metric case affects the entire country and the clock is, is metaphorically ticking. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Tarzan Stream by over here. Welcome back to more Lane's Mystery Journey, Catriella and the Minions Conspiracy. Last time we started off the game and finished uh, the prologue case, laying in a trap and of the cave. And now we're here at the clock tower, Big Ben, and wondering one of the hands has been missing. For ado, let us investigate. Zoom in. Oh, wow, I see it. It's true, the short hand really is missing. Ah, but of course, the other clock faces all have both hands. Yeah, it's on on the one side that the short hand has been taken, the other three hearts are unaffected. Oh, so it's just one short hand that we're looking for. Even a short hand from one of the clocks on the Big Bang's clock that would be a very sizable object. Uh, something that would disappear easily. Obviously, you search all around the clock face as well as the base of the top. But that and just appeared into thin air. Haha, <laughs> this is turning into a very interesting case indeed. A quarter of London doesn't know what time it is, and you call it interesting? Alright, now that we know what we're dealing with, it's time to start investigating. We should start by stepping back and look at the bigger picture again, so touch zoom out on the other half of the screen. Okay. Where do we start, Ms. Layton? Well, time is of the essence. We have to solve this before a master of food to fall fall tomorrow. Let's begin by asking Inspector Hastings' team on what they learned so far. That's right. Why do we do the work yourself when you can get someone else to do it for you? Nonsense, sure. We can't all part do the effort, that's all. Of course. Come along then, you two. No time to lose. Coming, miss. Inspector Hastings, can you summarize what you've found so, so far? Not a fat lot, really. There was a Bobby on the beat air last night who confirmed nothing was amiss at 11.50. It was until 6 this morning that we got us a report from a stun local who happened to glance at the clock. We came to confirm the report right away and found it to be true. The hour end was, well, and we gone. Hmm, so at 11.50 last night, the clock was fine, but about 6 this morning, the hand was missing. So we're looking at the window of about 6 hours in which the crime was committed. That's about the size of it, yep. And wasn't there anybody else who looked at the clock tower at in that 6 hour window? We're looking into that now. Our guard officer is asking locals if they saw anything. There must be someone who looked at the clock in all, all that time. No doubt if we went door to door we could find some witnesses. But we just don't have the time, enough time. So we just had to manage with what we know already, you mean. Pretty much. And those hands are massive. It would have taken some a fair old while to take off with it, that's for sure. Hmm, six hours. Cause our window? Find the clue in the right place. You found a clue, six hours. According to, okay, as you investigate process, you will honor securing key pieces of information that form clues. Each case has six clues to uncover, and once you've called all six, you'll be able to solve a case. Clues may arise from statements that appear that you have nothing to do with your anything. Can you use your sleuthing skills to piece it all together? If you want to look at the clues you've got so far, open Catcall's bag and look at the current case file. When you need to refresh your memory about the case, the case file is the place to look. According to Inspector Hastings, the clock hand must have been stolen in a roughly 6 hour window between 11.50pm last night and 6am this morning. Ah, it's a little exciting to be investigating a case at last. What do you do first, miss? Well, start by new members of the public, Ernest. Gosh, that sounds like proper detective work. Let's find out if anyone around here has known what's wrong with the clock tower and if they might have useful information for us. There are rather a lot of passers by here, aren't there? How do you know who to ask? The more people we talk to, the better. So let's get started. 
When there are more than one place you can make you will see multiple magnifying glasses icons depending on the lower half of the screen in investigation mode. Once you have examined one of those places, it will be marked with a tick icon. So keep an eye on the magnifying glass icons and tick icons and the lower half of the screen as you are hunting for clues. Okay. And it, uh, the old clock is very six day window, sometimes on the uh, morning. We're still on the hunt for more music. Okay. 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 So did any of you happen to see anything around this part last night? Such as, for an instance, a person or persons that wearing a large and like object. Gosh, he gets straight to the point, doesn't he? He's asking the very questions I was about to ask him. Oh, worry me, Miles. Eh? Sorry, I'm Douglas Dirt. Everyone may call me Doug. I'm a reporter with a long time, see? Are, are you real at all? Oh, I'll say. Personally, I think the Land Times is the best paper in the city. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind, lad. Although I do make my mission to dig out the most dirtiest of dirt and uncover the most unsavvy of suits. And at present, as I mustn't aforementionally, I am investigating the experience of Big Ben's hand. As it happens, we are investigating the same thing. Perhaps you may share anything you've learned. Sorry, investigate, you say. Well, there's a turn up of the books. You don't like detectives, I must say. If I had to guess, I have paid you as a lone couple out walking your lovely dog. It's a delightful morning. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm a detective. Haven't you heard of the Layton Detective Agency? Layton? I know the person with. That's late, of course. I didn't realize an agency or people is in ploy. Always nice to have signed up with the real. Click on no. Really inspires confidence. Oh, what a blow. Mind you, I didn't really expect any difference. Don't worry, Miss Layton, you'll be famous soon enough. I'm quite certain of that. Anyway, as it happens, I was at the office all evening yesterday, penning my latest article. I did not observe Big Ben at all. And I'm afraid to say that my own investigation is just getting underway. I have nothing to impair at the present time. I see. Well, thank you anyway. I wish you all the very best with your ongoing investigation and interviews, of course. Likewise, sir. Good luck with yours. And hiccup for iconic Big Ben. Pretty crime or international conspiracy. Alarm bells ring across Britain. Ha! <laughs> Stories like these write themselves, eh? God, me thinks I is going to be a smasher. Certainly is. If we don't solve this story it breaks, well, there will be all kinds of repercussions. You're right. We must press on with our investigation. All right, what can we ask for him? This, this up, old man. Oh! Stash in Jarvan. <laughs> well, how long has it been, would you say? How long? I don't know. Do we know each other? I'm very sure I've met, met you before, sir. Know each other? In a way, yes. In a way, no. I think he scarves too tight. <laughs> People are like leaves washed along in a river. Sometimes meeting, sometimes parting. You've rather lost me, I'm afraid. I um, don't suppose you noticed anything about the Elizabeth Tower last night, did you? I was already dreaming sweetly by nightfall yesterday. You're really sleepy, are you? So you wouldn't have seen anything. <laughs> Is that all you wanted? I'll tell you what. How about a little puzzle to occupy the mind? I say, a puzzle? The world is full of puzzles, Ernest. Sometimes, during the first investigation, people do come with puzzles for you to solve. It's all about part of the process. Let's see what our puzzle will deal with here. Alright. Next puzzle. The hands of time. I get it now. <clears throat> the clock is currently showing the time as 3.30 p.m. Okay. It would be nice if the hands of the clock would show midnight. What would be the minimum number of places you'd need to touch on the clock to show the desired time? 
Press the answer frame to display the letter and print screen and type the letters you want to write. When you confirm the letters you have written, they will appear in the answer frame. If you want to change what you have written, touch the answer frame again and put your answer. Hmm. Number of times. It tells the time. So midnight, right? So it's. So the clock, the time here says 3.30, right? And we will want to show midnight. It's not zero, is it? I've seen how to solve this now. And that's how it's done. It was zero. <laughs> I just guessed it. There was no... All you do is wait. Yep. It's, it's a... Is this a trick question, guys? Very impressive. Let's hope you tackle all the puzzles you're going to face so convincingly. We've investigated all that we can around here. I suggest we head closer to the tower. To the scene of the crime at last, I say. This is rather exciting. Ah, I need to explain to you how we move around during an investigation, don't I? At the bottom left of the investigation mode panel, you'll see a back to map button. Touching that switches from investigation mode to relocation mode. The orange flashing markers show points on the map where we can move to. You can just touch a marker to go there. Information about the point you touched is displayed on the upper screen. Simply touch a second time to go ahead and move to that location. An exclamation mark add a pop with your place in case so that you should head there next. It looks like we can get inside the Elizabeth Tower from that entrance there. So let's head over and see what we can find out. No. Oh. Okay. The entrance to the clock tower looks to be over there. Ooh, the police officers need to be examining something. Let's ask them what they found. Let's talk with... This lad first. Oh, she has a puzzle. One, two, one, two. Oh, hi there. Perfect better for the runners, isn't it? It must be a pleasant place for jogging here. With all the green space. Yes, I love it. I've done 50 laps already today. 50? I'm guttering, by the way. I've been running on cities all around the world. I just can't get enough. Like marathons and other events, but ordinary city streets are my favorite place to run. I just love sunshining as I watch other people going all about their business. I like doing puzzles to expand my brain too, and to keep in mind my aching puzzles. I just came up with a great one. Actually, try it. Wow, she's a quick one, huh? Bubble Blast, it's called. Shoot bubbles from the cannon to burst all the bubbles floating in the air. To pop bubbles, you need to form a chain linking bubbles of the same number horizontally or vertically. The chain needs to contain at least as many bubbles as the number displayed on the bubbles in it. Side bubbles from the cannon on the left is increases to fire. Ammo is replenished after each shot, but you need to burst all the bubbles within the maximum shot limit. Okay. So we have. Okay. It should be easy then. Hmm. Horizontally or vertically, right? There you go. Oh this my god. An interesting one. And that's how it's done. Yes, that's it. Nice one. One, two, one, two. Alright, I'm ready to push on. Beat the pain. Ha, <laughs> good luck. 
I'm going to stay in London for a while, I think. There are a lot of places around the city where I like to run. I want to make sure as as much as I can while I'm here. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. Bye then. Hello, Miss, um, let's see. Oh, yes, that's right, Miss Layton. Mr. Hastings mentioned it. He, um... Ah, yes, here it is. You're assisting with our reservation, I see. So we're to share information and resources. Thank you, officer. That would be very helpful. Another on the ball detective, is it? Yeah, this is DC Nick Booker. One of Mr. Hastings' men. Nick Booker. Thrown into the profession, you see? Perhaps you'd be as kind as to tell us what have you learned about the case so far. Yes, well, according to our inquiries, it seems that there has been an outbreak of, um, ah, yes, of metal theft in the capital recently. Metal theft? Um, yes, I think that's what it says here. Yes, metal being stolen from factories and warehouses. Really? What on earth would anyone steal pieces of metal for? Some metals are viable earners, and these can still crowd made from them up for a high price. Yes, according to my notes here, the missing clock hand was made of, um, ah yes, here it is, a very valuable metal that would fetch a good price if sold. We continue along this line of investigation. I see, metal theft. Well, thank you for your help, DC Booker. Don't mention it, madam. I'm just doing what it says here in my notebook. Metal thefts. According to DC Booker, there has been a recent spate of metal thefts in the capital. Certain types of scrap metal sell for considerable sums of money. Hello, 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 Miss Layton. Inspector Hastings has instructed us all to give you full cooperation. Wonderful. So I don't need to explain. Could you just tell us what? We found out so far. I'd be glad to miss. We've had a certain that on the line in question, that being last night, there was no one here. No one at all? Not even a janitor or something? Correct. There is a room behind the large clock face known as the clock room. However, this clock room was locked overnight. So is the clock tower always empty overnight? Except for when work is ongoing, yes. When the servicemen are in, there's time to work late, apparently. But last night, the servicemen knocked off early, it seems. So there was no one around who might have seen the thief. Sorry not to have better news for you. Now, we've spoken to investigation officers. I think it's time we had to look inside the clock tower. But it's locked, isn't it? Shouldn't we talk to PC Beat, do you think? Excuse me, PC Beat. Would you be so good to allow us entry into the clock tower? Why, yes, of course! Inspector Hazen Steve has instructions to cooperate for you, Miss Layton. Step right in. Thank you. We'll all come in, if we may. I must warn you, it's one long circuit when you get inside. I hope your light messes are working. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> yes. Alright, let's go inside. Golly, what a lot of stairs. My feet are killing me. Ernest, Greaves, you should be ashamed of yourself getting so tired of it so easily. You're petting hard, isn't he? Oh, look, it's spectacular. I've never seen the turn of a clock tower before. Magnificent. Being said, such a huge, important landmark like this is rather splendid, isn't it? The clock face and the clocks are so enormous. Yes, it's quite exciting being allowed into a place that's off limits for most people. All right, you two, get over yourselves. Ah, I just remember something I forgot to mention before. Oh, what's that? Sometimes, as you're investigating, you come across something unexpected. I expected this. Yes, I can really magnifying glass around. You might notice a particular disturbance in some place, like a pop or a dust. Almost. And that happens before you make these thoroughly as a uh, magnifying glass hasn't turned orange. Look hard enough and you're sure to be rewarded. 
so make sure you investigate all those nooks and crannies carefully. Let's give it a try now. Oh, here it is. Hello. Red is Wistwatch. A collectible box has been added to Cartrail's bag that you can pursue items and that you found during the course of your investigations. The items aren't related to any particular case, they're just for fun, so you can just them um, as leisure. You never know what you might find while you're hunting for clues, so leave no stone unturned. Not one, Miss Layton. Very good, so let's get back to the task at hand. Ah, I think perhaps that service man over there. Look! Ah yes, you're right! Let's go ask him if we use the animation for us. And we'll do that on the next episode. So I'm gonna end it off here guys. I don't wanna make it too long. So thank you guys for watching. Next time on Lady's Mystery Journey, we're gonna visit the car room and talk to this geezer right here. Thank you guys, um, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you can see what you and channel. And without further ado, guys, thank you guys for watching. Mark and I'll see you right here. Sign out. Come guys. Stay awesome. Take care. Peace. I'm gonna live until I